Hi everyone, welcome to M's Latin Flavor. I'm M's, your hostess with the mostest. Do you know what today is? It's Saturday, so that means hoy se bebe. Grab your wine or your cookies. Go grab them both. And stick around because I'm going to show you how to make tres leches. A very popular dessert that you can do for any occasion. So first things first, I'm going to show you what you need to make this very yummy, very popular cake. Okay, so nothing fancy. This is what you'll need. You're going to need a box of yellow cake or your favorite cake. I use yellow because I like the way it tastes. You're going to need sweet condensed milk, evaporated milk, vanilla, ready whip, and heavy whipping cream. The ready rip is going to be the last thing, so don't even worry about it. You can put that to the side. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've opened the cake pack right here, and I poured it into my bowl, okay? Now, the next thing I did was, let me move this out, was crack the eggs in a separate bowl, okay? because I don't want eggshells in the cake. Nobody does. So I'm gonna scramble them. So I want them, I want the yolk to be broken. I don't want it to be broken within the cake. Okay, so I will scramble that all together and pour it into this cake. So go ahead and follow the instructions on the cake box. Now there is two different ways of making this cake. My favorite is my grandma's recipe, but I'm usually in a rush for parties and, and dinners that I like to create here in my house, so I do it this way. If you, there is a specific way that you want to do it, by all means, I am not opposed to it. But I'm just showing you a quick and easy version of doing it this way. And I've already, I already have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So we're going to do half a cup of oil. And then the one cup of cold water. that easy. And we whisk. Whisk and make sure that everything is well mixed together and well blended. Now as I'm mixing this, it is very important to not grease the pan, okay? Now for regular cakes, we usually grease the pan with butter and lightly like put flour on it so it won't stick, but as you can see here, hello! I didn't grease my pan because for tres leche you don't need to grease the pan because it's not a dry cake. With the milk that mix that you're going to put in there, you're not going to need to grease it and you're not going to need to do all of that to get the cake out because it will come out and it's going to be super yummy, trust me. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I have placed the cake, I followed the instructions on the cake box and I placed it in the oven for about 15 minutes until it came out golden brown. In a separate bowl, I mixed the one can of evaporated milk, one can of sweet condensed milk, half a box of heavy whipping cream, you saw that big box I showed you guys earlier, 
that was already that already half half in it because I used the other half for a different cake for the same cake but a different day um, and I've also put about a tablespoon or two about one to two tablespoons of vanilla extract in the mix let me show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like okay and you can go ahead and taste test it make sure that everything is okay and it tastes as sweet as you want it to be okay so once the cake is out and you have it cooling off you want to grab a knife or even a table knife it's fine okay excuse me and you want to scrape the edges like so make sure it's not sticking because you're going to want the milk mix to get into all those corners and creases okay so make sure it is well detached from the mold asegúrense que el que no esté pegado del molde porque la leche tiene que ir en todas las orillas para absorberse so once you've scraped the whole thing you're going to stab the cake like this just make holes all around the cake so that the milk mixture that you mixed can get in there and soak up very well. Once you've stabbed it, then you want to do the cake mix, I mean the milk mix, which is over here. I'm going to grab a ladle for this because I don't want any accidents. and just pour it on top. Asegúrense que la leche va por encima de todo el bizcocho para que el bizcocho lo absorbe todo por completo. Make sure you pour it in every little hole that you poked and that every hole is covered. Ya cuando esté así, casi al final, lo que me gusta hacer es echarlo todo de un cantazo. When it's like this, towards the end of the mix, basically what I like to do is pour it all over the cake and make sure everything gets soaked really well. Don't worry about it being too much because once you've poured the mix and you cover every inch of the cake, you're going to put it to cool in the fridge. I would say about an hour or two. Two to be on the safe side. Make it two hours. So that all of the cake can get, uh, the, so that the milk can be absorbed in all of the cake. Okay. Once you've poured the milk all over the cake, put it in the fridge to cool off. While it cools off, it'll soak all of that milk moisture and you'll want it to cool off for about an hour. Give it an hour and a half. Um, two hours if you want to be on the safe side. After two hours, we're going to decorate it 
with the whipped cream on top. And you can put cherries on, on it, any kind of fruit that you want, you can. Or you can do um, sprinkles. I wouldn't do sprinkles only because it's not buttercream, it's whipped cream. And when you pour sprinkles on top of the whipped cream, it tends to bleed into the whipped cream and then it doesn't look pretty. So that your best bet on whipped cream like that is to do a fruit. Most people do cherries. I don't like cherries, so I don't put it. Most people put cinnamon in the cake mix while they're cooking or in the milk mix. I don't do it either. I don't like that. It really doesn't call for cinnamon. That's an optional thing that people like to do to be festive, to have a little bit different flavor, a different kick. Whatever floats your boat, I'm not into that. So I don't put cinnamon in my tres leche whatsoever. Um, yo no le echo canela a mi tres leche porque no, no lleva, pero al que le guste, pues écheselo. Yo no lo hago así. Entonces, yo le echo este, fruta por encima. Este, hoy no lo, no, no lo hice porque no, no quise, no, no me gustan los cherries y mucha gente le gusta poner cherries. So, yo no hice los cherries. Um, but yeah, so we're going to let that cool, cool off. Let it soak and then we'll come back and I'll show you how it looks once we put the whipped cream on. Okay? While you wait for the cake to cool off or to bake, do you know what you should do or what we do? We have a dance off with our wine glass. Arriba Puerto Rico. Feliz Navidad, mi gente. The cake is cooled off. I took it out. Now we're going to put the whipped cream on it. Okay, now we got the ready whip. And you're going to decorate the entire cake with the icing. Don't be stingy with it. Make sure you cover every bit of the cake. So cover all those little holes that you see. Doesn't matter if it looks weird. Just make sure that you cover it. Put it on bien bien. Put it whipped cream. Look at that beauty. Let me get it closer here. Mm-hmm. Now comes my favorite part. The taste test. All right, look at this. Mm. 
And you see how it's coming out, like it's kind of sticking? That's okay. That, you guys, well, can you see me? That is the best part. So don't even worry about it. Get it in there. Okay, you guys. So my cake, like, completely and totally, honestly, just broke on me. It fell apart, see? Buen provecho, mi gente. You guys need to try this. My favorite cake ever. And this kills it every time. I, I make this for parties and honestly people love it and it just there's never any leftovers I never get to have a second bite or a piece mm. so yummy que rico mm. mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna stop I'm gonna pass that around well Goodness gracious, thank you. Jesus. Okay. So that's how you make the leche, Mike, mi gente. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. I really wanted to bring a little bit of uh, tradition to Facebook, view, view, I mean, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter viewers out there. Um, if you like this video, if you like my Spanglish, give it a thumbs up. And comment below with hashtag more Spanglish if you want to see this more, this back and forth, uh, back more in more videos and my goofy side in more videos. Ha put hashtag more. Comment with a hello. Turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss a beat. Excuse me, so that you won't miss any of my videos. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Um, I think I'm thinking about doing. A chocolate chip cookie video um, I'm not sure maybe a sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies since that's like the theme for Christmas um, and and kids like to leave that out for Santa I'm thinking about doing uh, videos on that not sure yet stay tuned comment below subscribe to my channel click like on this video if you want to see more like this um, Turn on the post notifications so that you won't miss a beat, all right? And because it's Christmas, it is, you know, only fair to have fun and dance and drink and enjoy your family because life is too short and you never know what could happen tomorrow. I love you, mi gente.